and uh, now we've just got got to go a fair way into the uh, into the uh, first act to catch up to where we were before someone realised they'd fucked up the audio. <laughs> Uh, it's not that bad. It only, you know, generates a high-pitched screeching sound whenever I try to play it. Oh, really? Jesus. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, you should uh, a include a sample here or something. <laughs> what was that? Maybe include a sample here. Yeah. Yeah, I will. It will be awful and loud. And then you'll forget when editing and, and this, this whole conversation will be a bit for naught. <laughs> But yes, Hassau is currently remarking on how fancy his school school is. Well, at least it is. It is, it is brought up. It's it commenting is. on how fancy the front gate is at this point in time. Yeah, but, and it is. It is actually brought up in in this line that we're planning on doing, that this school isn't is, isn't exactly cheap to attend, and it no. probably wouldn't be given that it's twenty four hour fucking nursing staff. Yeah. Though I like how his parents just like, hi, here you go, bye. Yeah, I mean, even my, even when I first came to uni for the first time, my parents at least stayed like a night to make sure I was settling in all right. Mm. Oh well, maybe but, it's a know. maybe it's a cultural thing. Japanese parents are weird, or well, weird to us anyway. Wow. Someone give us some. Someone should. Hopefully, if anyone does watch, we'll get some explanations on some such things. Yeah, or well, maybe we're just reading way too much into this and the. Uh, and his parents do actually, you know, care about him, we just don't hear about it. At all. Until that one time he dies in the place. No, don't. Don't, don't say anything more, you'll just spoil it. <laughs> hmm. So it is interesting here how he's describing the school. Ooh, cleanliness, that's gross. Yeah. That's clearly what he means. He's disgusted by the, uh, concept of personal hygiene. <laughs> it's not even that, it's just how clean and... Yeah, no, you places. know, I, I, can, I can agree, you know, the whole sanitized, clean aesthetic can be pretty off-putting if it's, if it's jarring like it would be at a school like this. <laughs> and he's just going, it's too damn big to just be a school. Oh, whoops. Loud noise. Okay. Hmm. Can you guys even hear me? Yes. Uh, oh, you are there. I am Hello. here. I am here. It just got very loud at my end, and I don't want to exactly deafen the listeners. What? Did, did you hear everything I was saying? No, it's because it got very loud at my end, I couldn't actually hear anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn it, I should have insulted you behind your back or something. What was, what was that? that? You go first. What was that? No, you, you go first. We kind of talked over each other there. That's literally what I was saying. What was that? Uh, I was just saying I should have totally <laughs> insulted you behind your back whilst I was alone with the viewers. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You could have done that. Viewer. Well, that would have been a bit of a dick move. But anyways... Let's be realistic here. Viewer. Singular. Yes, probably singular at this point. But yes. But yes, no one else is outside. That's probably because you're you're arriving during class time, mate. Yeah, that's what happens in the middle of the day at school. People mm. are in class. Let's just be let's just be thankful that a certain somebody isn't the first person he sees. Yes, let's be Give very him. thankful. Yes, given we learn about how uh, serious he takes everything. How eccentric he is. Yeah. He has a very high eccentricity. He's not very he's not very circular. He's he's very uh, very oval shaped. He's very B shaped if you ask. Very me. elliptical. I'd say he's very B shaped. No no, I'm just I'm just making a joke about <laughs> about ellipses. Because the sir, the measure of how round or not round an ellipse is is known as in, as in eccentricity. Hmm. I okay. forget the values it sits between. I think it's between zero and one, but I might be entirely. Hey. But yes, this this character is a bro. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, we don't see much of him in the storyline we're planning on going down. But yes, he's a complete and utter bro. 
Yeah, if you play the game and you'll play the game and do the other lines and you can find out for yourself, our one viewer. <laughs> neither firm nor sloppy, the handshake. It's not the only thing that's neither firm nor sloppy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, please. I'm still. I'm. I. I may be better, but I'm still kind of cough. But though his approach. Oh, you can go see the doctor later. Yeah, that that is kind of a reflection of Moto as a character, anyway. Though. Yeah. Eh, it'll be fine. She'll be right, mate. Yep, she'll be right. Go see a lot later. So yes, we come to our first decision, and you just made it. <laughs> And yes, of course we wish to introduce ourselves to the class. Even though, because this is us coming back to the start after already doing the storyline, it actually does not matter at all. We may as well have well, to Well, it does matter decision. because we don't want to accidentally wind up on a, another line because yeah, we no, no, will start just... having that by the time we finish this take three, I think, at this point. Yeah, take no, two like or three. I was about to say, though, we want, we'll probably want to make the same decisions just for continuity's sake. Mm. But yes. We get to meet all the characters. Yep. Should, should we point out who uh, who the characters are? Or... So you got or Dave, at the very least... Jeff, Jim, Leslie. <laughs> yeah, there's this Steve. Uh, but we, we, we should at least point out the uh, characters we will end up romancing. Maybe not say their names, just point them out. They're not in totally, frame yet. That one totally gets, uh, you know. Let's just say her hand jobs are subpar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, is that? The, no, the that's joke not, is that's not her. Hand. Sorry. I think that one's not her. Though the one thing that's always got me is what's up with the girl in the center with the huge ass eyes? I don't know. I, there's actually, I think, if that's the character I think it is, there's a lot of fan fiction around her. Her fan name is Molly, I believe. Hmm. Or, although I might be thinking of someone else entirely. Well, there's a lot I of characters, so... I don't get into fan fiction that much. But I'm, yeah, also, you know... I'm also kind of confused about the character on the front left who's wearing a headband but also wearing a boy's uniform. Oh well, each yeah. their own, I guess. Well, the thing is, from what we know from the other lines, the school doesn't really care which uniform you wear as long as you wear one of them. Yeah. But yes, we see the... Uh... Oh, my my parents are calling. <laughs> I'll have to hang up and tell them later. Call later. Uh, you should, oh, wait, so we've already got a pause right now. Okay. No, 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 no. It's That's all good. I, I'll, I'll just message them saying, not right now, I'm busy. But yes, uh, you know, totally not a easy game to spot the potential protagonist in this one. But yes, uh, we get our first glimpse of the uh, twin drills of... Uh, we won't say her name yet, but... Uh, well, we can, because she's sitting right there. Then again, yeah, Misha. But the character to the left of her is... Uh, Shizune, there we go. I forgot her fucking name, Jesus. Well, we're about to get that introduction along with pretty much all the girls in a moment, so... Yeah. But yes, the object of our affections for this playthrough are Shiz is Shizune. Hmm. Okay, I, having done this, I think this is the eighth time for me, given that one playthrough which didn't actually save for me. This is actually quite a long scene. Yeah. <laughs> Though I find it interesting that the particular girl, um, Miku, Miki? I can Miki. never remember her name. Who? The, uh... The one-armed runner. Uh, that's Miura, I believe. No, the one that only appears in that one line, despite... Well, her, her last name is Miura. I think, yeah, I think it is Miki Miura. Yeah. I just remember yeah. her last name because it's, she shares her name with a Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Miura. Mm. Which is a very pretty car. Mm. She's one of the... She's one of two non two she's one of two non characters that actually gets part of an introduction just then. Yeah, I guess so. Because yeah, her and the guy with the cane at the back. 
they're the both the itching back. here, but they're not a. They're not um. Oh, what's the word? Um, romanceable or interactable. Well, the guy with the cane in the back. That's it. That is the only time he's ever mentioned. And Miki only shows up in one line. Hmm. Though she does have a unofficially official uh, script for her entire line. I think it was done by one of the devs, but it's still a, a non-canon storyline. It's story not canon, the... but I think it was what, Rin's... Rin's one? Can't remember off the top of my head. No, neither can I. But yes, Hakamichi, Hakamichi-kun, I guess. She's our, uh, our age... So, I mean, Hakamichi-san would perhaps be a little overly respectful. <laughs> but yes, this is this is totally Shizune. <laughs> Wahahaha, it's Misha time, bitches. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is Misha. Misha's the one with the pink hair and the uh, twin drills. And this, this girl on the right here is Shizune, the object of our affections that I've, I've said that exact well, phrase like 50 times. If you ask me, times. this is the uh, better of the two, which I'm disappointed that there isn't an option. Oh, no, there... Mm, that I, comes later, I, though, and that's different. Yeah, I, I know for a fact that she is... I, I can't say anything, I'll just spoil just spoil the endings of well if you keep watching and you stick with us through the innumerable parts to this given how long of a game this is you will see later on mm. if not play the game for yourself at the very least do that give it a try mm. well it's not difficult it's quite it's a free game yeah of course it's absolutely free so it's not like you've because got... it's because it was uh, created more or less by 4chan, it's uh, available to torrent with about a zillion seeds. Mm. And that's not even pirating it, that's from the website itself. Yeah, exactly. Which, I don't know, if I've set this up properly by this point and you're actually interested in not playing this game without us, there should be something down below, or to the side, or above, depending on what YouTube's done at the point you're watching this. Yes. Oh, you're used to this current layout? Let's change it! Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of interesting to note that uh, she's actually, like, her animations, she's moving around a lot more in her first initial introduction, you know? For the rest of the, ga for the, rest of the game, it'll just be dot, dot, dot whenever she signs something. She's hmm. deaf if you weren't paying attention to the dialogue, which you should be. I might be clicking through a bit fast, and that's my bad. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's kind of interesting to note that. It's, I suppose it's making a point that, you know, she moves around a lot. And they were too too lazy to do it for the rest of the game. Yeah. Hello. Misha being... You look bald. just like I imagined. Slightly creepy, but it's kind of explained later. seems to think so. Mm. Uh. Though, if, well, just so people can click, whenever we get the dot 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 down the bottom, it is Shizune signing, signing something. Given that she's deaf. And mute, as a, 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 apparently. Well, that's one of those things that's not actually, it's not really brought up until a bit later like on in Act 1. And it's not, it's not brought up that much either. It's, I think it's just stated at some we... point, if I remember correctly. Yeah. She, he, Hisao goes, she's probably mute, and that's about it, really. Wonder if, I wonder if uh, it'll go any further into that later on. Mm. That'd be interesting you know, if they go into that mm. later on. Though, somehow I doubt it, and they're just going to stick with the deafness part. Yeah. <clears throat> Misha stumbles with the hard word. It's not the only time she'll be stumbling on something hard. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sure there's no stumbling on her account in, that, in such a situation. Mm. 
I can't say anything here. <laughs> no, I can't say anything either way. Because I don't know for sure. Yeah. Well, that's because we... Yeah. We should probably start referring to things that the viewer won't actually see for, like, ages. Yeah, given that we've uh, kind of been thrown out of whack because someone had to fuck up the audio. Oh, come on. D just... Details, uh, details. Wahahaha. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I'm, I'm not having to do anything other than talk shit and talk to you whilst playing the game at the same yeah. time. You've got to record this, edit it, upload it to YouTube, roll on that YouTube money. Yes, uh, yes, totally YouTube money. You know, if they let me do that again, because I totally didn't accidentally do that and got my account, like, flagged. Mm. Don't upload full episodes of anime, guys, even if you are trying to do something creative with it. YouTube doesn't YouTube's, like that. Yeah, YouTube's copyright algorithm is a bit draconian when it comes to that sort of thing. Yeah, and it's really random too, because I've seen other people do literally the exact same thing, and they're fine. Maybe it's because they have part of an MCN and they have fancy lawyers nah, to talk with their it's just random, account. random, yeah. like, if you watch it and you see, like, entire, like, clips and segments of shows just sitting on there, and it's just like, these are just as copyrighted as anything I've posted, but, you know, I see, blah. I'll hmm. stop complaining about YouTube and play ball. Well, YouTube, YouTube itself is kind of random. Mm. I once uploaded a video, uh, and it happened to get 700,000 views out of fucking nowhere. But, uh... Yeah, well, that's what happens every now and again. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> The sow's already being worn out and... Well, that's what, that's what Misha's two. like. She's fucking wearing the beer around, although... What was really. that? It's kind of Misha anyway. Mm. Oh, I think I accidentally skipped ahead a wee bit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, that that's Misha's catchphrase right there. Wah-ha-ha-ha-ha till the explanation mark. She totally, she totally enunciates it like that. Yep. And totally. that's just an age catchphrase, catchphrase right there. Dot, dot, dot whilst holding her glasses. Yep. <laughs> oh, but look, at, look at that. I've never, I actually didn't, didn't notice. She's blushing. That's adorable. Mm. Oh. She <laughs> does that every now and again. But I get the feeling somehow that there is definitely some additional mishiness to a lot of what's being said. Yeah, but I mean, um, and it's touched on later in the game, but it's 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 always adorable when uh, Shizune is caught off guard and she blushes like that because as a character, Shizune doesn't seem to be the sort of, sort of person to get caught off guard often. Mm. And when she is and she blushes like that, it's fucking adorable. Kind of like a uh, receiving a smile <laughs> from a certain other character. Uh, misunderstanding or mis uh, appraisal from Hishan. Hishan's Hishan. Hishan. <laughs> or Hishan. Just call him Hishan. And then it I die of in the coffin for a moment there. Yeah. There's a bit of a misappraisal from Hishan. Hishan. Right there about uh, Shizune. Hmm. Though I do want to know how she signs explanation marks. Like, what does she do to give it that sort of oomph? Well, I mean, it's it's mentioned a few times later. You know, she she signs it heavy-handedly and and you know, moving her hands with great vigor, sort of thing. I'm willing to bet. Obviously, there's actually a actually if if our one viewer has any idea about sign language. We'd love to know, is there a way to uh, convey an exclamation mark in sign language? Or do you just kind of, I don't know, sign yell? Is there a, is there a sign language you call it the caps lock? Uh, but yes, the assignment. Combining aspects of being both un difficult and unnecessarily long. I know that feel, bro. I know that feel, Hussel. 
this is this is actually uh, this is very much a, this is an accurate appraisal if a, his yeah. previous appraisal of the two was a little inaccurate this is very accurate <laughs> particularly about the last bit about Misha <laughs> uh, time for lunch <laughs> <laughs>